you know, this is an interesting patient though because it's just as likely that when you do the admin EKG that you could see something. Because she doesn't really live around the healthcare system, but she has a lot of things cooking. And so when you bring her in and do it, that, that might change the recommendation off the get-go. Especially somebody who's got potassium on the borderline with a lot of factors that you're going to be modifying, you know, drug therapy factors, and be beginning to use medications that can also impact serum potassium levels. So it just depends on what's going on. That's an opportunistic, well, I don't know if you call it an opportunistic infection, but that's a common infection. I don't know if if something like uh, all of her comorbidities added together, and she lives on a farm, mm -hmm. if histoplasmosis, or, you know, she's more susceptible to that. I don't know. I mean, that's probably, uh, probably not. Uh, but with any uh, small uh, abrasion or laceration of the skin in a person like this, you have to take it seriously. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's part of foot care. I mean, that's, that's part of the educational process is, is good foot care and observation. And some of the patients can't really observe feet that well because they're, they're large, they can't bend over and see, which does become kind of a management issue for them, but um, observing, noting things, you know, ingrown toenail, those things are, you know, you just think, well, I'll, it's a problem and I'll, I'll go get it taken care of sometime down the road. A diabetic person, depending on how advanced their disease is, how poor their circulation may or may not be, how poor their um, uh, innervation may or may not be, all of those factors, that may be something, a much bigger event for that patient than for someone without diabetes. And so they, you teach them that. They need to know. And when I have a diabetic come into the clinic with an ingrown toenail or a toenail issue that needs, it needs trimming or something, I prefer to send that to a podiatrist. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like messing. I will not pull a nail off of a diabetic foot, uh, of the foot of a diabetic person, the foot of a person with diabetes. <laughs> uh, there's, there's just too many things that yeah. could go wrong. Yeah. 